In this video, we are going to talk about how to import or export configurations and settings in Shitu Box. Configuration import or export it helps you easily back up your config files or use your settings on another Shitu Box software. First, we are going to talk about how to import or export the slicing settings. There are two export options: export single profile and export all profiles. So what are their differences? In fact, when you choose one machine profile, you can see one or more recent profiles for that machine. This can be the software preset profiles for different resin and different machines, or the profiles you created on your own. So the differences are that the export single profile option export only the resin profile you are using now, and the export all profiles export all the resin profiles for this machine. The operations of export and import are very easy. Just click the export button you want, and save the config file at the right location. If you want to import something, simply click the import button, and select the config file you want. The configurations will be integrated into the software. Know that no matter you are importing single or multiple profiles, they will be added as new profiles in the slicing settings instead of just replacing the old ones. Another thing you will want to know is that you can actually find your machine profiles in your computer. To do this, click Main Menu and then select Help Open Log Path. Then double-click the machine folder, and you should see some config files. Which corresponds to your machine profiles in the slicing settings. Next, we're going to talk about the import or export of your support settings. There are two pairs of import export options: one for the support settings and the other for the auto manual support. The export config button for the support settings exports the support size and all the settings of the top, middle, bottom, raft. The export button for the auto manual support export four settings below. If you click the export configurations button for the support settings, you will be able to choose where you can save your exported support setting configurations. And if you click the import button, you can select a config file to import. Note that the import process replaces all the settings with the one in the file. Let's say you export your support settings and then change some settings. Then, if you import the exported configuration file, all the settings will be restored to the ones before you exported. The export and import options for auto manual support work the same. The last thing we're going to talk about is to import or export the slicing and support settings you are using at the same time. To do this. Click the main menu and select Help, and export configuration. This option will export your slicing settings and your support settings. If you want to import a configuration file, just click Import Configuration. This method exports or imports all the resin profiles of the machine profile you're selecting and all your support settings. Notice that when importing and exporting. The machine profile you choose have to be the same. Otherwise, an error message will pop up, and your profiles will be messed up.